Hi, this is Emily Bowen Moore. This is for Journalism 273 in the Meek School of Journalism and New Media at the University of Mississippi. This is a tutorial in Photoshop uh, specifically for adjusting resolution and size um, with photographs. And photos, since Photoshop is a photo editing program, we're going to adjust it there. Now, if we were putting it into our layout, we would adjust it here and then put it into InDesign or Illustrator for that matter. So I have Photoshop open here and I'm just going to grab, I'm going to go to File, Open, and I have a low res photo here that I just grabbed off the internet for the example. So I am going to adjust this. Um, so I'm going to look at this and see what my size is. So if I go up to image and image size, so this photograph in particular is actually a high resolution photograph, which is actually what we want for print. So we're going to leave that. A lot of times if you grab photos from other sources, especially off the web, they're going to be low resolution or 72 pixels per inch which is what you want for web, but for print, you want optimum of 300 uh, for best clarity uh, in your photographs. So the size of this, right now, the size is a little over four inches wide by a little, almost three inches tall. And that is at 300 PPI or pixels per inch. So if we were to scale this image in our layout bigger than this size, then it could still pixelate um, and look, you know, blurry and pixelated. So we want to make sure that the size is what you are using in your layout. So say we wanted to actually have this closer to five by seven size, and I usually go a little bigger than what I actually need in my layout because that um, enables me to have a little wiggle room there. But let's say we want it five by seven. So let's say it were seven inches by five inches. So if I punch in this scale, if I have this clicked over here, it will proportion proportionately scale this uh, for me. But if I unclick this, it's going to allow me to adjust either of these um, or both of these individually, and it will somewhat skew this image. Um, and skew, I mean distort. Okay, and you don't want a distorted image, so we want to make sure that it is always working proportionately when it's scaled. So I'm going to go back and change this again. So it's, it can be either 7 inches by 4.583, or if I change this to 5, it's going to make it a little wider to accommodate. So we wanted at least the size at this resolution in order to have the best clarity. So if I click OK, that's going to adjust it here. It's going to bring it a little bit larger if I want to reduce the size of this. The Command key and minus will zoom out. And plus if you want to zoom back in. And that is basically adjusting resolution and size in Photoshop. So if you need to put a picture into your layout, remember just go to image, image size, and it will bring up that window. And you can preserve these things and save it as a TIFF, which is the best quality image file. Uh, JPEG is a lower quality image file. So the best optimum file is a TIFF for saving your images as well, going into a professional publication. All right, and if you need to adjust the, the contrast or any other adjustments to the photographs, these are a lot of photography tools. Um, you can work with those if you like. Um, if you've ever worked with a camera, you know what some of these terms are. And there are auto versions, or you can customize yourself, like with levels, you can adjust those um, individually. Okay, 
So that should give you some options with your photographs that you're putting into your layout. Thanks for listening.